All right. Did you know that you can use an existing PDF to create signatures in Go High Level so that you can get them signed? Answer to that is yes. And in today's video, we're going to go over that new feature where you can actually take an existing PDF that you have and create fillable or signable uh, signatures on that form so that you can get that signed by your end consumer or whoever it may be. All right. So we're going to go over that and let's go and share my screen and we'll get right into it. All right. So as you can see, we have a service agreement in front of us. Um, so when I do these feature updates uh, for Go High Level, I try to make these as real or real case scenarios as possible. In this case, we have a service agreement that we typically use for our agency. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this document, which is currently a Microsoft Word document, and we're going to convert that into a PDF so that we can upload it into the Go High level. And uh, let's just say for the, uh, for the sake of this demo, all of these uh, information that's at the beginning is all filled out. And then as w uh, the only thing that we have to work on is uh, getting the signature and uh, maybe we'll put a date here. All of these, we're going to assume that uh, we're, we're going to uh, input those fields as well. For, but for the uh, to make this video as sh short as possible, um, and uh, we're not going to fill out, we're not going to put all of the necessary fields. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this document and as a PDF and click save. So now we are in my agency sub account and we're going to click on payments and we're going to go to documents and contracts and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on new and upload a pdf and what we're going to do is drag over the pdf document that we just created and we're going to just drag it over and then to click on upload right so now we are uploading it into our sub account and as you can see, we now have a service agreement that is now, uh, now we can modify and include those signature requirements. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the these uh, options right here. So here is where you would add your signature and text field. So we're going to go over these two items. You also, uh, if you click on pages, you see that there are two pages that are available. And then there are other document variables that you can uh, add to the document, but for the demo today, we're not going to work on, we're not even going to consider those. And then we have recipients, all right? So what we're going to do first is we're going to go and add a signature field for here. Let's just go ahead and add a signature field. And we're just going to make it small and click on that, all right? And then the next thing is you can just copy uh, you can see also there's a trash. So if you accidentally put in a, a field that you're not going to use, you can click on that trash icon and it will be deleted. So we're going to just duplicate that. And we're going to drag that over here. And then we're going to add a text field for the date. Okay. Uh, as you can see, I, I did not, um, this date has to be modified. So, um, for this purposes, we're not going to change it, but we'll, uh, you know, take that into consideration next time we update this. All right. So then we'll put a date there. And then now we're going to add recipients. So um, for the purposes of this demo, I actually put in these three contacts, Paul GHL1, and then we're going to add Paul GHL2, and then Paul GHL3. And then we're just going to go click on save so that we can, we don't lose our work. All right. So now we are going into here. If you click on this signature one, this is, uh, let's just assume that this is going to be signed by G, um, Paul GHL1, right? So in this case, signature. And the same thing here is GHL1. Now let's assume the second signature is by GHL2, as you can see. Uh, then as soon as you click save, as you can see, GHL2 changes from a CC to a signer over here, right? And the same thing here is this is going to be switched over to GHL2, and then you're going to click save. And there we go. So 
This um, is a requirement that is required by GHL, uh, the first person, and this is the signature required by the second person. Another thing for you to quickly consider is that before we send this document off, you can convert this to a template. So um, let's just say a document, uh, this is a, a, a proposal or a service agreement that you use over and over again. You can convert this to as a template. And and then it becomes a template and you can click it, you can click save. And if you go back to it, all right, so this is the template that we saved. And if you click on this and it says use template. So if you click on use template, then it's going to duplicate that. And then now um, you can actually um, change this into, let's just say that this is a scope of work for your, you know, say client one, right? And then and then what you have to do is, if you go scroll at the bottom, it's just a matter of now adding the client. So let's just go back to GHL one as we did before, GHL two, GHL three, then is go and click properties. Oh, you have to click on here. So this is GHL1, GHL1. This one is GHL2. Let's switch that over to GHL2. Same thing over here, GHL2. And now you can click on Save. And now let's go back and, and let's just say here, um, you also have the ability to, uh, if you click on the double up, uh, let's see, the three dots here, you can also, let's take a look and view it. And you also can modify the document name by clicking on here and call it, you know, whatever op client two, let's just say. And then you can click save. All right, so now let's, um, when we're ready to send it, you can click send and you have two options. You can send via email and you can send via link. Now, if you send by email, an email will go out. Let's do one here. Let's send it by email. And the email has been successfully sent. So one thing to note is that when you send, um, when you click send and it sends via email, it sends it to all three of them. So you have no control over um, if you want to send it independently. All right, so here's what it looks like if you send it for uh, via email. And this is what it will look like. And you can click on view proposal here. and this is says this document has two field required fields, and then you can start filling it out, as you can see here. And signature, you can put in here. Uh, it fills it out already exactly how you, uh, you know, if, if that is the first name and last name, and then you can accept and sign. Then here you will put in the date. Um, let's just say two, today is two, four, 24, okay? and then click finish right it says thank you for accepting the document we'll send a signed copy for reference when the document has been accepted by all parties but for my case a lot of times because i want to attach a scope of work um, i usually would like to send share via link and then here you have um, links that are appropriate for each of the clients so you have uh, one and two. So the only two people that needs to sign it is these two. A scenario where you will send it to GHL2 and you'll put in a copy. All right, so let's just say that um, that you want to send an email out and, and this is this is actually the client number two. Um, and here is the propo uh, the service agreement. Okay. Um, and you can say, Dear client two, uh, dear potential client number two, please find attach, please find, please sign the, please say, please use the link below to sign the service agreement. Okay, and then that's the link and then it says, um, find attach the scope of work in reference to the 
service agreement. Thank you. Okay, Paul, right? And then you would go ahead and send. Here's the email for the email that I sent, and then we'll click on the link. And as you can see here, start filling it out. So this is so this is signed by the first person already and the date there. And then let's go ahead and start signing it. Now you also have the option to personally change the script if you want it that way, or you can actually draw it if you want. You can uh, you know put in here like that, and then accept and sign. And then let's just say let's put the date here. And then click finish. The last person that has to uh, fill out is there's no document or there's no field that needs to be filled out, but we're going to go ahead and finish this part so that we can finalize the document. Okay, and so if everybody filled out the document, so once everybody has signed the document, you will see it over here as completed. And then everybody, including the administrative, should get a email stating that the document has been signed and the copy of the document is attached. And so we'll go take a look at one of the emails here. So here's an email and here's the email that went out with a copy of the document signed by all the parties. And there is the signature certificate stating um, when it was signed by all the parties. All right, two additional items uh, that I wanna point out. Number one is that um, if you ever needed to uh, move this to draft, meaning that there was some mistake in the service agreement, you can click to move it to draft. And then the other thing is if you want to send um, invoices after the service agreement has been signed, you can click on this setting here. And the, under here, under product invoicing, you can actually send invoices automatically after di document completion. And so you can toggle this on and off. And when it's toggled on, after you have completed the document, you now have the option to click on this view invoice should be available. It will be available so you can take a look at the invoice and send the invoice immediately after the uh, document has been signed. This new feature update, the ability to upload PDF is perfect for those. If you already are utilizing uh, contracts or you already have documents that you don't want to recreate, you can convert them to PDF and then utilize it here by uploading the PDF. And um, it's as simple as that. I hope this video was helpful and until next time, bye now.